Hello, everyone. Welcome to YMPCB channel. Today, let's see how to install our Universal Refrigerator Control Board YM2000R, which can replace the original control boards from single door, double door, and other non inverter refrigerators of different brands. Please disconnect the power supply before starting the operation and take the original board out of the refrigerator. It's important to remember the original control board wiring. You can take a picture before unplug the sockets on the board. Or you can do some marks on the wires. Look, we had some marks. Okay, this is the YM2000R we are going to install. On the side is the temperature sensor. Put it in the refrigerator to detect the temperature. This is the thermostat for adjusting the temperature and there are 7 temperature settings. This is the manual defrosting button. Each press can defrost for 15 minutes. This is the status light. For the convenience of display, we connected the socket with wires. Here you can see the original PCB board has two N wires. So we also connect to connect these two N wires. And this is L. This is refrigeration and uh, defrosting. Finally, connect uh, GND and the fan. You can take out the original board for reference. Note light, the two wires can't be connected in reverse. Otherwise, the fan will burn out. There are two fan sockets on our board. One socket is for AC 220 volts fan, and the other is for DC 12 volts fan. So you need to check the original fan voltage before connecting it. Look, this original fan voltage is uh, 12 volts, so we need to connect the 12 volt socket. But here is a 4 wires fan. And our board can only connect 2 wire or 3 wire fans, which is more popular for after sale market. So we need to replace the 4 wire fan. Okay, we replaced it with a 3 wire fan. Okay, connect them. Next, we put the temperature sensor in the refrigerator compartment. You can fix it with tap. This is for convenient to sure. Okay, we have completed the our wiring now. You can plug in the power. After power on, the light flashes briefly and the alarm goes out. Now, select any temperature and you will see the light flashing in a cycle. This means the compressor is working. Look, the fan is running fast. There is no delay when turning on the power for the first time. But if you turn it off and turn it on again, the status light will stand by like this. And after 10 minutes, the compressor will start working. We press the manual defrost button. No, the status light is off. Then, there will be 15 minutes of defrosting. 
generally automatic defrosting occurs once every eight hours. Okay, the above is the whole installation process. If you have other questions, please contact us. Thank you for watching. Bye.